Only hope that's the score they throw out. Now, after not competing on balance beam, here's Jamie Dancher. Remember, just two days ago, she looked like she badly did something to her ankle. Today, it's not even taped. Yeah, it's not even affecting her. In the warm-up just prior to this routine, she was very bouncy in her tumbling. Not a problem. Biggest test of the ankle will come in the first tumbling pass where she'll do a double layout, change direction, do a punch front, a lot of pressure on that foot. Wow. Oh. wow. So many of these athletes have struggled on the tumbling. She had way too much rotation. This is an exercise we've seen so many times from Jamie Dancher, we've seen her execute it almost flawlessly. Walking through the training halls this week before the games, every person you ran into, coaches, athletes, trainers, one complaint on their mind, the floor exercise, the women said very slippery and really hard, pounding and punishing on the body. To get ready for these games, the United States bought replicas of all this Australian equipment to have in the gym at the college where they trained here this past week. One of her coaches, Beth Rye Becky, up in the stands. An Olympian in 1980, never got to make the trip because of the boycott. Her other coach, one of the Olympic coaches on the floor, Beth's husband, Steve Rye Becky. This day is all about somehow surviving and moving on to the next round in the Olympic Games. In the